Swung on and hit deep to right. Very deep to right. It's gone. Ahmed Rosario. It may be early, but it just got a little later for Luis Severino. Ahmed Rosario's fifth homer of the season, and the Mets take a 1-0 lead against the Yankees. Runner going, 3-2 pitch. Driven in the air, right field pretty deep. To the track, at the wall, gone! Into the second row. Jose Bautista lifting the Mets to a 4-2 lead here in the top of the fourth inning. The 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball hit deep to left field. Back goes Gardner. This one's on the way. Home run, Todd Frazier. Into the lower left field stands for Frazier. His 11th home run of the year. And the Mets have a two-run lead right back. It's the Mets five and the Yankees three. 1-1. Tag deep in the air right field. Jumping back to the track. Walker looking, turning. It is gone. Brandon Nimmo to the third row. And the Mets are up on top, 6-3. to three. Two degrees of separation. 1-1, straight in the air by Conforto, deep to left. Jumping to the track at the wall. This ball is gone. Michael Conforto follows up. The two lefties go yard here, and the Mets now coasting. It is to 7-3. Hold on, I'll tell you. I'm t- this is pretty impressive. They're, they're not exactly... Uh barreling him up look at Ramirez this guy's having one of the best years in baseball don't hurt yourself can you there. believe that that was a curveball Brandon Dixon doing it Coming with a hook to get the best player in the American League. Or having the best gear in the American League. Holy Moses. Two on, one out. Good pull sp- coming up. Good speed on the bases also for the Angels. Stammons 1-2. This is out toward right center field. Towering shot. Chasing Margot back to the track. And miscommunication. It falls in there. It's a double. Young will score. And the Angels have taken the lead. They were both there. One of them should have caught it. A run comes in to score, but the Angels take a 3-2 lead here in the 10th. Oh. That ball has got to be caught. You would think there's always that possibility of a squeeze play put on, but and here it is. There it is. And Beautiful it bunt by David Fletcher, gloved by Spangenberg. The run scores 4-2 Halos. Calhoun at third base, two outs for Upton. And Justin launches one out the left center field. That is gone. Big fly for Justin Upton. Angels open it up here in the 10th. And the Padre fans are leaving. The Angel fans are on their feet cheering. A four-run 10th inning for the Angels. And a 6-2 lead here in the 10th. There's a line drive base in right field. Hanniger's got a good arm. Here comes Chapman, but Hanniger did not pick it up clean. And Chapman comes in to score, and an early 1-0 lead for the Athletics. That is a fair ball. Past the diving Seager, it's going to knock in a pair. Lowry will ease into second, a two-run double, 3-0 A's. Here come the swing and A's. Being aggressive early against the strike throwing Gonzalez. Well, first pitch cutter into the righty, Chad Lowry. He says, you're not beating me to the spot this time. I'm pulling the hands in. I'm going to yank this thing right down the line. Just out of the reach of the outstretched Seager. It's going to be two for that man, Jed. Got three RBIs. Runners go, and it's lined to left, and that's going to be a fair ball headed for the left field corner. Pinder scores. There comes Luke Croy. Catcher's legs and all. He'll score. Two-run double for Chapman, 6-1 to one, the A's lead. So a three-double night for Matt Chapman. 
chapstick applying all the lubrication necessary with his third double of the evening. And he got it, Kite. Little slider down and away. And he might have been fooled, but he knew it was coming. Strong individual, that chappy. One handed down the left field line. That one is fair. It's going to be another double, and it's going to be another run scored as Chapman rounds third, and Lowry with an RBI double. So 7-1, to one, the A's leading. Now the possible tying run is at third. The possible go-ahead run is in scoring position. Longoria at second. The outfield is deep all the way around. Line drive, base hit, right center field. The tying run scores. The go-ahead run scores. Slater to third. And the Giants for the first time all night long are ahead 3-2. to two. One of the biggest hits of the year. He set up for it. He got it. He was thinking the other way. A lot of discipline in that at bat. He executed exactly what he wanted to do. And for the fourth consecutive game, the Dodgers have given it up in the late innings. Look at the way he swings here. He's thinking right field. That's a smart hitter. That's an experienced veteran hitter. Here's the 0-2 on the way. Swung on and missed strike three. Went upstairs with a fastball. On the way. Swung on and fouled into the mid of Mizoraco. Strike three. Grom delivers. Swung on and missed strike three. Went upstairs. Bring his right wrist. The 0-2 to Walker. Swung on and fouled into the mid of Mizoraco. Strike three. Side retired. Four strikeouts for DeGrom as he gets the Yankees in order. And at the end of two is with at least ten home runs. The 0-2 won't be here. A swing and a miss at the high fastball. Down he goes. 1-2 from DeGrom. Wave and a miss at the slider. Down he goes. Swing by Walker. A little chopper up near first. Flores plays it. Slips and gets rid of it. DeGrom to the bag. And they got him. Wow, that didn't look fun because Flores wiped out, tried to make that glove flip. Here's the one two. Swung on and missed strike three. The Grom delivers. Swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a breaking ball down and away. And a breaking ball in there. Strike three called. It looked like Hicks was trying to get time. The one two. In there, strike three called. There is strikeout number 10. The Grom left leg kick. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. That's number 11. He got him with a hard slider away. Leg kick in the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. There's a dozen. A dozen strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom here at Yankee Stadium. And here comes Mickey Calloway. He let him go through that order just that one more time. A third time through the order, but there won't be a fourth. He ends with a flourish, does Jacob DeGrom. Talks about him around the league. Everybody talks about Buxton and Kiermaier. There's a bouncer up the middle that finds a hole, a two-out single for Nick. You're absolutely right. But they are starting to talk about Ingle a little bit. Here's the 1-1 pitch. It's looped down the left field line, going to get down. And Nick is on his way to second. He will get there. It's going to be a double for Castellanos to open up the fourth. And he is two out of two in this game. Line to left field, down a base hit and more. A run will score. Nick is on his way to second, his third hit of the game, and the Tigers have their first lead of the night.
right field. Another hit for Nick. Had two more runs scored. A five hit night for Castellanos. And he has driven in five. Left side of the infield shading him up the middle. Ramirez sends a high fly ball, deep right field, down the line, and it is gone, a home run. Jose Ramirez is 35th of the year. Now 86 runs batted in, and listen to those Indians fans. <laughs> there are quite a few here. Standing up, and I'll tell you what, Jose really did a good job with his hands on this pitch. That ball in off the plate. He's been trying to go inside to a lot of the hitters, but this is one guy you got to really be careful with. He got enough of it. Watch his hands come in. Boy, and he just sliced it down. And I thought Urban is in right field lost his glove over the fence, but it, it stayed in play. He tried to time it to leap, go over, and he had a good beat on it. As Pablo Lopez, a man that's nicknamed Wikipedia by his teammates, as this one's whacked toward right center field and deep. Sierra back and it's into the back. And another leadoff homer for Acuna. He's something. That's his third leadoff home run, Joe. Tell that was a good at bat, too. He took some pitches. And the fact that he goes right center like that in the bullpen, that's what I love. We all know he can pull the ball. That ball was on the inner half almost a little bit. You saw him stay inside it nice. And, you know, I was talking to Snit this morning, and we were talking about how just he's done great. And I, I love that he's in the leadoff hole. I think he's done great for the sole fact that he's finally playing games in a row. 22-year-old right-hander, Mirandy Gonzalez, and a rope hit to deep center. His 10th homer out of the leadoff spot. A homer in four consecutive games. That's four leadoff homers for Acuna. And just like that, Atlanta leads. First pitch, fastball down the middle. And it was delivered to the middle of that section. If he gets a fastball, watch out. A 3 1 pitch. DeYoung to left. Walk it. them all home run number 13 for the young and the Cardinals win this game in the bottom of the ninth on a walk off home run seven six look at that scene at home play wow <laughs> well Mike the young just missed three yep. earlier in the game and he straightened this one out and the Redbirds have won six in a row